Your e-mountain bike is a big investment and you really need to take care of it, otherwise you could be ruining the bike itself and the rides that you take it on. So here's a few things you should never ever do on your e-bike. That loud skipping and clunking noise coming from the rear of your bike when your chain is under load could denote that your whole drivetrain is getting pretty worn out. Now you need to get a chain checker on your chain to make sure you're not gonna trash all those components all in one go, meaning you could just replace that chain. Also a loud clunking noise coming from the front end of your bike could denote something like a loose headset. Get on and check out any of those ominous noises before it wrecks your ride. Now as tempting as it might be to work on your bike upside down or maybe even wash it to clean all the wheels and the drivetrain and things like that, you definitely shouldn't be doing it. With washing it, your e-bike is designed to let all that water run away from all your vital electrical components. It has a drain on the bottom of the bike to let all that water run away. And if you're working on it on the side of the trail, all you're gonna do is scratch up your display, maybe rip your seat and scratch those controls up. If you can, just try and keep it the right way up on two wheels. Now, if you do have to do that work on the trail side on your bike, it's a great idea just to chock your handlebars. It's gonna keep all those uh, important controls away from the hard ground. And of course, if you're doing that work at home, the best bet is to be investing in a work stand. Best way to keep your e-bike looking prime. And talking of washing, yes, you can use a power washer to clean your e-mountain bike if you use your head. Just be thinking about where you're spraying that jet of water. You wanna keep it away from the display unit, your bearings, your fork seals, and your motor and your battery. Better still, if you are cleaning those delicate areas, just use that power washer to turn down nice and low or use a hose pipe and a damp cloth. One of the worst things you can do for your battery on your bike is to fully discharge it and leave it for long periods of time. Once you get back from your ride, get it on charge ASAP and get it topped up. Don't forget if you're leaving your bike in storage and not riding it for a few weeks, only charge it up to around 60% to make sure that battery has a happy life. Now as great as tubeless is, it won't fix every single puncture you get out there on the trail. It won't fix the biggest holes or the deepest slits. So you really need to be prepared for having an inner tube in your backpack or maybe a plug kit to fix those bigger holes. And also whilst you're there, you need to check out the sealant in your tires to make sure that you've actually got tubeless sealant in there because if you haven't, you're not gonna be protected at all from those punctures. Now, one thing you never want to forget to do is if you're working on your bike on the side of the trail is to turn that power off, particularly if you're working on the drivetrain area. If you're pulling on that chain, the motor could engage and trap your fingers in that chain ring. And the same goes for lifting your bike. If you're lifting your bike off of the ground and you catch your pedal maybe on your jumper or something like that, and you've got your hand again near that chain, could wind your chain in and you're not gonna be able to pick your bike up if you've got no fingers. Now, no matter the distance of your ride, you always want to be prepared with the amount of kit that you've got in your riding pack. Now, at a minimum, you want a chain tool, a quick link, a multi-tool, a pump and an inner tube, and of course, a fully charged mobile phone. And if you're going on a bigger adventure, you probably wanna add a few more items to that list. And talking of those big adventure rides, something you never ever want to do is use too much turbo on those big rides. It's very tempting to do, but it is one of the least efficient modes on your bike and it eats a load of battery very, very quickly. So just think about when you're using that turbo mode. And also it's really gonna affect you when you go back to those lower power modes such as trail and eco. It's gonna make your bike feel like it's not giving you very much assistance whatsoever. Lay off that turbo and make that end point. And once you've finished that ride and you wanna show everyone how fast and how far you've been, and you're using all that data on apps such as Strava or Garmin Connect, just remember to set all that data to private or at least make sure you set that start and end point to private to make sure you're not giving thieves any information as to where you ride and where you live. And the same goes for social media too. Don't go taking pictures 
of your brand new e-bike right outside your house and giving away your house number or the car you drive because that's going to give thieves all that essential information they need to steal your pride and joy and that's it a load of things you should never be doing on your e-mountain bike if i've forgotten anything get involved in the comments box down below because the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to us here on embn and check out the merch shop